Ladies and gentlemen, it is day 404 on my journey to 2000 where I play a game of chess every day. I put it on YouTube for folks to watch and I track my progress on chess.com. Elo, get your free Elo. I'm having a, a giveaway sale here um, as I am now rated 1481. And I've had a really bad streak of losses. I used to be 1540-ish, 1550, I think. Um, so literally I've lost 70 points. I think this year, or the, the past three months or so. I really need to turn this ship around and yeah, appreciate everyone's suggestions and comments. So let's see who I'm playing today. Ah, yes. Majid Bush out of Algeria. Ma Mad Jeed Bouch. Um, not really sure how to pronounce that, but I'm going to say Majid Bush. And look, we've got the advanced variation. And is there another chance to play the tell here? No. I am going to go knight d7. Okay. So it is kind of like the tile variation, except out of order. Is that, is there a way to exploit that a little bit better? Knight d7, so that when I push, they can't come in and check. <clears throat> this this time around, or last time I played the tile variation, I had a really hard time getting my bishop out. This time I'm going to be a little bit more methodical in how I do that. Um, okay. I think if I go knight e7 and they take, that actually sets me up for another attacker here. D4, D4 pawn. Oh, everybody, I'm, uh, I've got a little hand strengthener here because I'm starting to get a little, uh, little carpal tunnel action going on in my ripe young age of 38. Who would have thought? All right, take, take. Or knight c6. Knight c6 sets me up for, if they take, I can do this. And if they take, take, then I can do this. Now it does leave this ripe for the taking, which might not be very fun. But is there a move I could have done before that? Maybe 
you just retreat back? Bishop g6. Maybe. Oh, wow. I didn't see that at all. I wasn't looking. I need to look. If I take, they take back. I go here. But but this bishop is kind of pinned now because I've got this once it leaves. take here because if they go back here and I take then they take back and add a defender on that so if they do that I don't need to take and now with this I've got another defender here. And let's defend the knight with the bishop. So that way I can castle and then take this pawn. Oh, shoot. I had this move. See, this is what I'm struggling with. I'm struggling with moving quickly and actually evaluating all my moves. I think the old adage of checks, captures, and attacks could actually help with that. But it wouldn't have been too that simple because if they go here, check, and let's say they go there, I take, and they take. Well, I guess it could have been that simple. My knight might have been stuck back there. It's still there, so we'll see if I can. Okay. Even better now if I take they recapture and then I can fork. That's, yeah, I did it by design. That's why I didn't do it earlier. I was waiting to, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs>
think I'll take my bishop, then I attack the queen. And if they go here, then I can defend the knight and attack the bishop. I think I've got options, but if they take here, then obviously I... Rook c8, queen c7, which adds two attackers on this pawn after they take. If, if I go rook c8 and they take here, then I can go back, they take, and then I've got check. Actually, here, take, here, take, check. I don't know. It's going to be, uh, puzzle land here pretty soon. Let's get a free tempo. Oh wait, it's not a free tempo. Because I can block with this. Oh, but then I can take it. That'll be, that'll be my free tempo. Check. They go here. Then I've got mate. If they go up. I got another check. <laughs> Maji Bush out of Algeria. Maji Bush. Okay, so now I get to either check here. <clears throat> exchange queens and be up significant material.
Now I could just start kind of marching my queen up there. As long as I don't blunder and kind of stay off the, diag the green diagonal and get closer. This is, yeah, so now we can. good spot if um, if I take I just want to make sure there's no other better way to try and get a mate this is just take in here but then it's check and they have to take here I think, I'm, I think for the sake of time, I'm just gonna exchange. And then get my... Uh, rooks into the game here. I guess, you know, after I activate my rooks, pushing pawns is probably going to be the, the way to go. Go here and they go here. And then... I think I gotta get my knight over here. It's also this, that goes back here. I don't wanna to get too I don't wanna to get too confident right now, but this and if they come here then I can throw in a check and they go down here I can throw in another 
check. They're forced to go over here and I can take the... Also got check. Okay. Check if here, then check. But they take. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I gotta start throwing in some checks. I don't wanna get caught for time. Check here. No. I can't get too crazy. I'm getting too crazy over here. by abandonment huh I was having a heck of a time trying to checkmate him that's it's kind of welcome news <laughs> um, too bad thank you for the game Majid Boosh let's check out the analysis here Day 404, I played with 84% accuracy. I had zero blunders, zero misses, zero mistakes, but five inaccuracies. My opponent played really well too, but made three mistakes. Let's check out the analysis here. Looks like I had a um, good advantage the entire game. Through the, I think it is a variation of the towel, but um, yeah, I did think about retreating this bishop after the fact. Um, it's still it's still the best move. So, note to self, and that was a mistake. And I, I could have forced it out, but then I was worried about this. Uh, I guess, 
At that point, I could have done this exchange and then added another attacker there if they took. The king would have been super exposed, though, but... <clears throat> um, instead, I... Instead... Let's see. Yeah, instead I take right away, and then after it recaptures, which is a mistake, I take back. They should have taken the bishop at that point, but they didn't bring their queen out, which was a mistake. This was a um, an inaccuracy. I did see this after the fact, which did come in handy um, after... Taking was an um, inaccuracy. I was thinking if they recaptured, then I could go here. But just putting pressure on the queen was a good move. Um, but after I take, they bring out their bishop. The best move for them still would have been to take this bishop. But that's where I finally do the fork. And I take the rook which was an inaccuracy. The engine liked um, pushing the pawn. And then if takes, what happens if they take that? It says take here. Interesting. What about they take back? the queen queen goes here hmm okay but after I do the four can I take can I just take I start taking pieces off the board I've got a significant advantage that I was able to hang on to throughout the rest of the game um, with these cool checks taking pieces off check exchanging Queens still have an advantage of you know 3.5 which is where I like it to be um, they take pieces off the board for me and then it's just a matter of Patrick don't blunder, and then they uh, I win by abandonment, which you don't really see that often. Well, there you go, folks. Day 404 in the books. Until next time.